here we have another geometric sequences intermediate problem. And we're given the third term of a geometric sequence, and the third term is 108, and the seventh term is 8048. We don't know anything else, that's all we know. That, of course, this is a geometric sequence. That's the third term, that's the seventh term. And we want to determine the first term. So we want to know A1 and also the common ratio, which is just R, for this geometric sequence. Fantastic. Now, how do we do this? Well, let's, let's take a look at what we have here. What's the relationship between the third term and the seventh term? Well, let's take a look at this. The third term times the common ratio would give us the fourth term, right? So a, a3 times r is a4. So it follows that the third term's time, sorry, the third term times r squared would give us a5, or the fifth term. Because in other words, if we just multiply a4 by r again, we get a5. So look at this, 3 plus 2 equals 5, right? So the third term times r to the power of 4 would give us the seventh term. Does that make sense? I'm just going to quickly show you this. a3 times r times r times r times r again. So we're, we're multiplying the third term by four common ratios, and that would give us the seventh term. Fantastic. Hopefully that makes good, sorry, makes good sense to everyone. Now, why is this useful? Well, I can, say, I can plug in the 108 for a3. Okay, and I can plug in the 8,748 for A7. Then we can just solve for R to the power of 4. And then we have the common ratio. So let's just divide both sides by 108. Boom, they cancel out. So we end up with R to the power of 4 is equal to whatever this is. 8,748 divided by 108 is just 81. So we can take the fourth root of both sides, and we end up with r equals plus or minus 3. Why plus or minus? Because the fourth root of 81 could be negative as well, couldn't it? Well, negative 3 to the power of 4 is positive 81. So we have two answers, basically, for the common ratio. Now, we also want to find the first term, don't we? Yes, we do. And we can use this formula, the general formula. A n equals a1 times r to the power of n minus 1 to find the first term. And how do we do that? Well, we know that a3, and we know a3, which is 108, is equal to a1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So I'm going to use just three, positive 3 first. Later, you can use the negative 3. And n is 3, so because of this, right? So we have 3 minus 1, 2. So 108 is equal to a1 times 9. Then we can just divide, divide both sides by 9 to find a1. And I have completely run out of room again. So a1 is just equal to... 108 divided by 9, I'm going to use my calculator, so I'm going to cheat, I guess. 108 divided by 9 is just 12. Great. Now, what if, what if we use negative 3 for r, for the common ratio? Well, we would have negative 3 here, that would still be positive 9, so a1 wouldn't change. So, it works out that the first term is 12 regardless of what the common ratio is. But the common ratio, of course, could be positive or negative 3. So hopefully that makes good sense, and you can check out more questions right here. Good luck.